Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a mystery box order for you guys. I ordered this mystery box through Estee Lauder, the cosmetic company store. If you sign up for their text promotions, they will email you offers where you can get these mystery boxes, essentially. They'll disclose certain items that are in the box, but there's always at least one mystery item, and you get them at a deep discount. So this box has a $248 value. I was charged $59 with tax and shipping. I paid approximately $65. So unfortunately, this particular box is not available anymore. These boxes are only available for 24 to 48 hours, and then they'll usually send out another promo every few days. So let's jump in and see what I got in this box. I'm going to save the best item for last. I had a feeling that I knew what it was just based on the like mystery photo of the silhouette of the item. That's what ended up reeling me in. I knew I had to have this box. I had been waiting for a good one to come up. Not only that, there were some other items in there that interested me. So the first item that I received in this box is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Natural Chocolate Cocoa Infused Healthy Glow Bronzer. So that is the first item that I received in the box. It looks like that. I'm not going to open it because I don't need another bronzer. I went into this box knowing that there were two items in particular I wanted. I wanted the mystery item and I wanted another item that you'll see here shortly. And I'm like, that alone is going to be the value of the box. Anything else I can end up decluttering on Mercari. So this will be getting decluttered on Mercari. If you guys are interested, I will post my Mercari link below. The item that I was looking forward to that I knew about that wasn't the mystery item was the MAC Stack Mascara. So I heard rave reviews about the MAC Stack Mascara when it first came out. I was really interested in trying it. I did not need any mascara at the time. I don't like spending full price. So seeing that it was in this mystery box for a price of $59 for everything that you guys are going to see, I'm like, oh. Definitely worth the gamble. Pretty sure that this is in the shade black. I think they only have one shade in this. So once again, that is the MAC Stack Mascara. So moving back to Too Faced, they also included the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump Extra Strength Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper. So I do not like using lip plumpers. I don't like the way they make my lips tingle and that kind of stuff. I have no interest in this. So once again, this is going to be a product that ends up getting decluttered on my Mercari. So I have two more items for MAC and then I have that mystery item. So they did send me a MAC eyeshadow. And this is a Velux Pearl eyeshadow in antiqued it is a reddish brown color i looked up swatches really pretty but honestly i have a lot of neutral tone shadows so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this as well the last item from mac i received is a powerpoint eye pencil this is in the color stubborn brown i'm on the fence of if i'm gonna keep this or not i usually wear eyeliner when i wear makeup i usually wear black eyeliner and not brown I have been wanting a brown eyeliner just to see if it's a little less harsh than my black eyeliner. So this may be a keep for me. So now let's get to the actual mystery item. So this enticed me. It had a $112 value or either a $120 value. It had the outline of a perfume bottle and it looked like a Joe Malone. And I know that Joe Malone is owned by Estee Lauder. I know that they get it into the cosmetic company store outlets sometimes. So I knew the odds were in my favor that this was going to be a Joe Malone cologne. The only thing that I was concerned about was, was it going to be a scent that I didn't like? Or was it going to be a scent that I already had? Because I believe I have two or three Joe Malones in my collection already. So I'm happy to say it was a scent that I did not have. And I'm happy to say it is a scent that I am completely head over heels in love with. If I could only have one Joe Malone cologne, it would probably be this one. 
This is the 1.7 fluid ounces in a wild bluebell. So this alone more than paid for the box receiving the Joe Malone wild bluebell cologne. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very green shower fresh scent, little bit of a powdery undertone to it. I did write the notes down for you guys. So let me go ahead and review those. So the notes on this one top is bellflower, dewdrop, green leaves, and clove. The mid notes are persimmon and peach, and the base notes are musk and powdery notes. So like I said, if I could only buy one Joe Malone cologne, I definitely think it would be this one. I've always been put off by the name of Wild Bluebell when I've seen it because I like white florals and I did not know what kind of floral category Wild Bluebell would fall into, but this is absolutely gorgeous. There is one slight downfall to it. I wore this once, I wore it the day that it came, and the lasting power is pretty much obsolete. It goes on and it'll last probably two to three hours and then it disappears. This is gonna be a fragrance that you're gonna to have to touch up regularly. You're gonna blast through a bottle of this quickly. I'm grateful that I got it at a discounted rate. So that is my cosmetic company store mystery box, Estee Lauder mystery box. Hall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to have more of these videos coming for you guys. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.